Hi, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a decision service in IBM Operational Decision Manager running on the cloud. This is IBM's SaaS offering of the rule engine. So I pull up my browser and go to my instance of ODM. I log in, and uh, when I log in, you see I have a development environment, a test environment, and a highly available production environment. So to create my project, I need to download the development tool. This is an Eclipse-based tool. I'm going to download the one for Windows. Now, once I've written the rules or the project and the data model, then I can author the rest of the rules uh, just through the browser. Uh, but this initial part of setting the data model and um, the role project uh, is done with the Eclipse tool. Okay, so now that has downloaded, and I'm going to close this. You can see there's a getting started with ODM on cloud uh, and a sample project uh, and the tutorial to walk through that as well. I, I definitely recommend that on learning uh, as well. So now I can open this. Uh, let's just show it in the folder, and then I'm going to open it here. Okay, so now that has unzipped, and I can go into it. Actually, I can close this and launch Eclipse. So then it asked me for a workspace, and I can just call it uh, uh, Bill's Pizza Demo. So the first thing it does is it asks for my connection. So I use my server, ODM US Demo 2, and hit connect. So after I'm authenticated, you see my login here, and you see the finish button is now available. Now I can close this uh, Eclipse getting started. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a data model for holding the data for my rules. I'm going to do that in Java. You can certainly do XSDs uh, to import uh, models as well, but I'm going to use Java since it, uh, Eclipse does uh, a good job of creating POJOs. So I create a new project, call it a Java project, and let's just call it Bill's Pizza Data Model. Uh, in this uh, Java project, it's just going to contain my uh, data structure or my object for the uh, pizza order. So it's a class. Pizza order. So the order that I'm going to take from the user to order pizza and then price the pizza based off of the type of pizza that they're ordering and then the size. So I need some properties to capture information about the pizza order. Okay, so I created the four properties. Uh, then I'm going to use the handy source generator to generate my getters and setters following the Java Bean specification. Excellent. I also need some constructors. Same thing, source generate constructor from superclass and then generate another one from all of the fields. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to close this object, and it's ready to go. Now I can swap over to my rule perspective and create my rule project. 
So I do right click in this uh, view and do new rule project. I'm going to use the main standard project, click next, and I'm going to call it something like Bill's, uh, Bill's uh, Pizza Pricing Decision Service. And I'm going to click finish. Okay, so that starts that. I'm going to move this properties over here. Go back to my rural project map. And you see there's a little wizard here to make uh, creating the components uh, and the code artifacts that you need for the first rural project uh, kind of guide it. So the first step is to import the ZOM. The ZOM is that Java model that I created. That's the execution object model that's going to contain the instance data for the rules uh, to execute against. I'm going to choose Bill's Pizza. So I can choose uh, the default, and then I'll browse the ZOM and point to my Java objects. Click Next, and I want to do All Methods, and I do Finish. OK, so now the next thing that I need is a, a rule package to track my packages, uh, to track uh, or organize all of my different rules. Uh, you can group them into multiple packages. So I'm going to call this my uh, pricing rules. Uh, rules can be organized into rule flows. This allows me to uh, determine which rules execute uh, based off of some conditional logic. Uh, so I'm going to create this main rule flow. And then with this rule flow, I'm just going to point to my rule package and let the the rule engine figure out how to fire the rules that are within that package. I just drag that on, click the green, link to this rule, and then exit. I save that, so I save variable set. I'll call this the pizza order variables. And that's going to have a type called um, the order of type pizza order, which is the data type I created in Java. And then the business user, when they're writing the rules, they'll just call this uh, the order. Notice I have spacing here. I don't have the camel case. And that's the beauty of separating the data model, uh, the business model, from the execution model. Now that I have this variable set, I save it. And now I need the decision operation to actually specify you know, all of the details about how to invoke uh, this decision service. So I'm going to call this uh, Bill's Pizza Price Service. Do Next. And I need to make sure that the main flow is chosen. And so now I can start specifying the signature. The signature now can point to this variable set that I just created. And then I'll save this. OK, so now I have my service defined, the variables that it needs, what data is going to be passed in, and the order of my rules. Now I need to cre create a configuration document to specify where to deploy this rule so that I can start testing it. So I'm going to create a new deployment configuration. Let's call it Bill's Dev Pizza Configuration. And click Finish. So it's a non-production system. Uh, I'm pushing it out to development. I'm going to deploy the ZOM, which is the Java file. Include the signature I just created. And then I need to specify which server this is going to go against. I'm going to push it to the development server. Uh, recall that uh, ODM on cloud includes dev, test, and production. So then I can save that. And now I'm going to push this out to, uh, out to the rule server. 
Okay, so now I'm going to push this project up to the decision center so that I can author rules. Uh, as you'll recall, I haven't uh, created any rules. I've just created the project and the data model uh, and where to deploy this project uh, since I can have multiple servers. So now I'm going to push it up to the development uh, or to the decision center so that I can write the rules as a business person. Okay, so it's authenticated and I'll do finish. Okay, so pushed up, and now I will jump over to the browser and author these rules as a uh, business analyst. So I jump over here, and I go to the Business Center console. And now you see my new rule project. I'm going to drill into that. Drill into the main branch. I don't have uh, multiple branches. You can in ODM. You can have... Uh, releases and activities uh, and the full governance and management of uh, those uh, artifacts so that uh, your folks aren't creating rules without um, controls. So in this pricing rule package I'm going to create a new decision table. So let's call this my uh, pizza prices table. So it creates a, a, a default table. I'm going to change the uh, heading for the first column to be pizza type. And then I'm going to change the column for the um, second column to be pizza size. I'm going to price the pizza just on type and size, so I don't need this column. And then this is the action column. You'll recall that the, these two columns had a C prefix because those are the conditional columns. This is the action column. What am I going to do when these two conditional columns match the data coming in? I'm going to set the price. So this is the price column. Now I've specified what the column titles are so that you can write the rules. I haven't specified what value is going to be examined against that the cell data. This is called the condition of the column. So I'm going to say the uh, pizza, and you see the wizard pops up and makes it very easy. The type of the pizza, which pizza, I could have multiple pizzas in a given decision service call. I'm going to choose the, the one that I pass in the variable set. So the type of the pizza, and I'm going to say contains a string. And the string is going to be what I fill in in the call uh, column. So I define it. Likewise, for the size, I'm going to do the same thing. And then do define. Now, for the price, I have to set the price because that's the action. And whatever, I'm going to use a number, so whatever value I put, put in the cell, that's going to be the result of that, of that call. All right, so that's set. Uh, now I just need to fill in some values here. So I'm going to start with a uh, cheese pizza. So then I'm going to enter the size. Let's say it's a large pizza. And the price is going to be... $7.99. Now I can copy paste these cells, paste, paste, and then I'll enter more data here called uh, medium. I'll hit enter and call it um, small. Now I'm going to copy paste uh, these. I'm going to do multiple types. Do that again. And over here I'm going to call uh, meat lovers pizza. Copy that, paste, paste. I'm going to have another one here, let's say veggie. Enter that, copy, paste, paste. And now I start entering my prices. So cheese medium is going to be $6.99. Enter. Then I'm going to hit $5.99. Then for a meat lover's large, it's going to be $13.99. And then $11.99. And then $9.99. For a veggie, it's going to be $8.99, $7.99, and 
and finally 699. And there you have it. And I'm going to save that table. Just call this uh, V1. And now I'm set. Now I can go over to the deployment of that role and push that out to the server, and then I can test it. So I drill into my main branch, and I can do deploy. I'll choose the role execution server and do deploy. And you'll see it was successful. So now the role is there. I can go back over to my ODM on cloud, and there is in uh, this rule server is here, includes a REST client so you can test this. And then later I'll show you how to call this rule from my VPM on cloud uh, pizza demo. So I go in, I choose my pizza configuration, I choose this service, I say let's retrieve REST and I'm going to specify the latest so that if I make new versions, this URL is going to always work. You can use SOAP UI as well. And you'll see here some uh, default information. So the price is going to be empty, let's say zero. And the pizza size is going to be a medium. And the type is going to be a meat lovers. And then I do execute. And you'll see immediately it comes back with the price, $11.99. If I changed it to a large and do execute, you'll see it's $13.99. So in just that amount of time, short amount of time, I've authored uh, rules starting from scratch, downloading the Eclipse tool, writing the Java uh, object model, creating the project, and then getting uh, the project up to the decision center. Now, once that project's been created and that data model is all set up, uh, then it's great. I can jump in here, that one-time cost of getting that project set up, and you can collaborate, you can specify you know, policies on what to release and what not to. There's also built-in uh, testing here. So with my rules, I can actually test and deploy through just the browser. You see the test here. I can create test. I can snapshot in version, run simulations, uh, all just through the browser.